for you. <laughs> Today, you're going to take a tour with Tanny because I'm going to kick out a little video series about organizing and why when you streamline your existence and you are organized, it is going to free you up to be able to think and move ahead with your diet and lifestyle because there, it, it gives you clear space, you know what I mean? Out with the old because when you're cluttered up with the old there's no room for the new, you know? So let's start. Let's talk about streamlining. First of all, when I moved into this house, I, I had already kind of purged myself of a lot of things, but I have purged myself down to what I feel like are the necessities. I only have decorations enough to make it feel homey and only things I really love. I don't just have things out to have them out. I have things that either are number one useful baskets or whatnot to organize or I have things that I care about that bring back memories to me I like like I like these these vintage curtains right here they're they're from 1974 do you see that like you can't touch them too hard because they, they're semi disintegrated but I still like them and I mean it's just stuff like that nobody else would want okay over here, these shelves were already in this house, but in this basket, I keep the potty pads for my dogs where they've been trained on potty pads. I would never suggest that ever. It's expensive and it's a waste of resources and now they're trained on that. And if I, they go outside too and it's just an issue. I would never do that again. In here are their sweaters, more sweaters. Dogs have to have clothes, you know, leashes. Basically the only place I use paper towels because sometimes it's necessary. You know, it's just like Their toys go right there and they know it and they better stay there. You see that? Their blanket goes in this corner And that's how mommy does it, you know, I have a dog gate So they stay in there when I need them to just a little heater because this used to be um, like an outdoor utility storage space and they, they closed it in so it's kind of cold up here on top of my refrigerator out of my way i just have a few little things that i really really like you know again with the streamlining because i have room for when i'm fixing to go to the grocery in a bit and i can get the food i need and i have a space for them there's a couple of pizzas in the freezer and some raviolis christopher eats sometimes some whole wheat waffles. I'm running low on my ba banana stash. See, they're right, can y'all see that? They're right there. Um, down here, I have the blueberries I buy from Costco. I have the raspberry and blueberry mix, the festival mix, some peaches, and that's some lemon ginger cubes, of course. Over here, I'm just talking about streamlining it down to what you need so that you would not believe how that frees your mind up. Even if you're not a person that likes neatness or likes, you only need so much stuff. What you need is space and freedom, space in your mind and soul and spirit to fill it with new beautiful things, right? So here we have just, just what I need. I mean, Christopher knows the lids for these, they live here. These bowls live here. That lives there. Everything has a place it lives, you know? Silverware. These are my, I usually use these kind of pads and things, um, these little microfibers instead of paper towels because I can't afford them. The dehydrator. The trash can. These are where if I go to a store and I get bags or something, I'll put them there to put the potty pads in or just trash. Dog food drawer dog food and of course nothing interesting glass containers cute bowl these are my favorite kind of place they're, they're vintage you know from when I was a kid and that's what I like so that's what I get you know I have vintage glasses right here 
fancy vintage glasses. What I think are out of the way of the kids because that's how my mind still works, which is funny. Christopher's taller than me. All my to-go cups, see that? All my lids go in here. By the way, these are the kind of lids you can get at, um, to go on your mason jars, and they're really handy for storing green smoothies. They come in a big pack, um, like eight. I got this at Walmart, but you can order them online if they don't have them. All right, let's see. Okay, I have my teas and things. See that? Tea storage. Huh? Bam. So, nothing in here. Pretty much nothing. See that? Chia seeds. Oh, uh, these are my seeds that my friend Jenny from Team Broccoli YouTube sent me for my birthday. Look, it's all the seeds for sprouting. Speaking of, see, doing my nail stuff. Extra tops place. Fireizer measuring cup, tin foil, which Mr. Scott bought. I don't really ever buy that. See, like just, you know, place for a pocketbook and mailing stuff at top. See that right there? Notebooks. A book I'm reading by Don Bennett that I like. Oh, what's this? Hello, Tanny Raw Butterfly Cafe. Ebook in case you need that. <laughs> and down here, Sprouter box because it has the extra things. Sprouter bags for storage. I have a two-top table because that's what fits, and Christopher and I usually sit on the couch and eat together, you know? Vintage painting, because that's what I like. And to me, let's see. Over here's what I really don't need, and I may sell, is this gigantic TV. My husband should have hauled that out on his back with him. <laughs> Ex-husband. And over here, of course, some of these things are going to have to be put up because little baby will want to touch my things. See? Baby, yeah, hike up your skirt a little more. And show the world to me, little boys. A picture my good friend Catherine did for me. Nothing but you wear it so well. Leather couches, I know, but I've had them for 20 years, so I use them. Oh, I had to put my Christmas tree up. The little baby won't climb it. And now, oh, I have a gift here that I have to wrap, but all my gifts are right there. Don't pick at that. See? Coat closet, nothing but coats, an umbrella, a gloves. And down here, if anybody would like to have a, I don't know if you can see that, it's a carpet cleaning machine. I had just got it, and I don't have any carpet now, so I could give that to somebody. Name it and claim it and come get it. Here's my extra storage closet. I've got bags right there. These are like travel bags that won't let the lid close. Other bags. Pretty girl dresses. All my coats, but like little jackets back here. Down here, see I have all my like regular t-shirts and stuff. Oh, what's that? Let's see. Come and crash into me. <laughs> and back here I have a few turtlenecks, my little arm shirts and sweaters. These are my teacher clothes, which I don't really wear now, but all these are my, all of these are dress pants skirts as you see all the hangers match so that they can lay nicely capris oh, and down here we have more pocketbooks i could even get rid of some of those but i don't buy those things anymore once i have then i've obtained that and so it's there you know i think that song must be on replay replay so here's where i've turned my front den into what's well, going to be a little mini apartment and, and the decorations will be coming. But as you see on this side of the room is little girl slash my big girl slash grown woman place. This is, that is a fold out couch. Oh, that song. I have to listen to that song the whole time. 
But anyway, and then I'm going to close this door off. And this is going to be for clothes storage. And then I'm going to have some racks under here. And then over here is where I could have a crib, you see. And then there's an entrance and everything. Just like a little apartment, see? It'd be great. The bathroom, my washing machine's going. As you see, nothing. You know why? Because then in the morning when I get ready, I wipe it and I go. And that helps my brain. And it helps me stay, stay streamlined, you know? Towels, only white. Washcloths. Curling iron. See that? And then like, see I have baskets for things so that it, it makes it easy, you know? It makes it easy to stay neat, you know? And I have to put my hangers somewhere so they stay over here so I, I don't see them when I walk down the, the hall. See, these things help my mind. And I know some people are probably thinking, what the heck? But it is what enables me to think about other things. When it's a problem and I see it's bothering me, I fix that, you know? See, very streamlined. Nothing. Except, of course, your enema bag. <laughs> Let's find something else to listen to. See, what I've done is turn this into like a little home office so I can think and work, you know? Oh, yes, let's hear that. So this is where the magic happens, so to speak. <laughs> this is where I coach people right here from the computer. There's my notes of extreme thoughts. Y'all are like, what the heck? Then over here, this is an extra closet that I've moved.